It's no secret that we have some of the best weather right here on the West Coast. Even here in Victoria, we get less rain than the rest of the province and hardly any of the white stuff. It makes for great running year-round. And running is big. Just look around. There's runners running along Dallas Road, Galloping Goose, all over the place. But Julie Holder never saw herself as a runner, that is, until recently. And I was pretty sedentary and overweight. Julie's been training all summer, getting ready to run the 8K in the Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon. I'm 55 years old. I've never been a runner. And um, I thought, well, you know, it's too late for me. But then I thought, um, you know, I can be 55 and be a couch potato or I can be 55 and be a runner. But she's got another reason to push herself. I'm running for my father because he died from diabetes-related complications when he was just 61, which isn't that much older than I am right now. That was 35 years ago. While Julie doesn't have the disease, her father's battle with diabetes made her more interested in the condition. That's why today she's the regional director for the Canadian Diabetes Association on Vancouver Island. I'm still mad about that. You know, I, I think that if we had the services and the research and um, programs available when he was alive, he might have lived longer. But today we know more about it. While it can be hereditary, you can do some things that keep the disease at bay. Eating well, exercising, getting lots of sleep, um, less stress in your life, all those things can really help. Diet and exercise seems to be the answer to a lot of things, but it certainly is the case for, for trying to prevent uh, type 2 diabetes. It's estimated by the year 2020, diabetes will cost Canadians about $16.9 billion a year. For a person living with diabetes, it can cost them anywhere from an estimated $1,000 to about $15,000 a year to deal with their disease. And about 42,000 Canadians die every year because of diabetes. It's just huge. There are 3 million people who have diabetes who are diagnosed. And maybe another 6 million who are not yet diagnosed or who have pre-diabetes. If you're of Aboriginal, Asian or South Asian descent, you're at higher risk for developing diabetes. About 89 million people living in four of the five largest diabetic populations are found in Asia, especially India and China. Overall, the World Health Organization estimates there are 177 million people worldwide living with diabetes. That's expected to surpass 300 million by the year 2025. That's why this marathon is so important to Julie. She's not only running for personal reasons, she's also part of Team Diabetes. They'll be raising money for research and education. The race gets underway Saturday, October the 10th. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh, your health and wellness specialist. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.